welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, then just welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video. So let's go ahead and get right into it, y'all. I was going to do a different video today, but my reshade has been acting a little funny. So I decided to uninstall it and install G-Shade. So let's begin by uninstalling reshade. This is the best way that i found to delete or uninstall reshade from your game. You'll go to downloads and over here in search downloads, you'll put in, if you need to type in reshade, type in reshade, but this is where I'll click on here, reshade. And then you'll go down to browse. And then once you get into browse, mine is already popping up, but this is what you need to click on. But I'll show you guys how to get here if you don't know how. It's, mine is in my C drive. That's where it goes to regularly. If you have never moved yours, that's where it will be. Program Files 86, Origin Games, The Sims 4, and scroll down to Game, and Bin. And then you'll click TS4, Open, and then Next. And then Microsoft Direct, Direct X9. That's what you're going to click and next. And then you'll go here to uninstall. This way, if you uninstall it this way, it's going to remove everything that you need to remove for reshade. You don't have to go in and try to figure it out for yourself because it's going to do it for you. So it's going to remove reshade, related configuration, logs, and all installed effects effect files from the target game so it's gonna delete everything so you don't have to worry about that and then we're gonna do next and finish and it said it was successfully uninstalled but to check and make sure that it was uninstalled we're gonna go back in here program files 86 go down to origin games the sims 4 game bin and everything that was reshade, uh oh, everything that was reshade related is gone. Everything except my presets. So they're still here, but everything else is gone. So you don't have to go through and make sure that you delete this, delete that, because sometimes it can get, it can be a lot. And yeah, you have to make sure you remove everything. But now that it's uninstalled, now we're going to download. G shade. So we're going to close this out. And here we are. We just, all I did was search it, but I will have this link down below for you guys if you need it. And because I have Windows, I'm going to click Windows. But if you have Mac, you can click that. But let me know how that works out for you guys if you know if it's the same or if it's a little different. But I'm going to click on Windows and get it to download, and then we'll go from there. Once it comes up, you click on it and then it's going to ask you to select your language and then select OK. And here we're going to just agree. This is where you want to put your G shade, wherever you want it to be located. So mine is in my C drive. So I'm going to search again or browse and then I'm going to go C drive, program files 86, origin games, The Sims 4. Go down to game, bin, and Sims 4. I'm going to just select that and open. And then we're going to select next. And I have a 64. If you have a 32, you'll select that. And if you're not sure how to tell what you have, you'll go here, type in control panel. And then you'll go up, select that, and then you'll select system. And inside of system, it'll tell you the system type. And this is where you will find out whether you have a 32 or a 64. And then we'll just close this out. Pull this back up. And then you're gonna, it's gonna be direct X9. Make sure that you select that. And in hooking, it's going to be normal mode. Mine is already selected, so I'll just leave it. 
and these are all optional so you can select any of these or unselect or you can take them away if you want to um, this is for Final Fantasy presets but I don't need those so I'm not gonna select them but if you do and you do want them you can select them and then we're gonna go here to install We'll select next and installation complete so this is for your screenshots wherever you want your screenshots to be that's where you'll put them right now it's trying to put them in pictures that's not where I want them so I'm gonna go browse and in here I'm gonna go see again and NC program files 86 origin games the Sims 4 go down to game bin and I have a folder in screenshots right here so that's where I'm gonna select and press OK and finish and it said it was successfully set so we're going to would you like to open the G-Shape visual guide um no we don't want to open it so that is we already got it installed so we're going to X out of here and now we're back to our desktop and we're going to click on G-Shade control panel. Um, installations, this is where your G-Shade is located. And tools, you have your launch converter and your open folder. We're going to click on launch converter. And inside of launch converter, you're going to go to desktop and G-Shade and select OK. And now your preset conversions are complete. And now we're going to right click on your Sims 4 icon and open file location. And we're going to click on G Shade Presets and Custom. And inside of here, you should already have your presets if you already have presets downloaded in your folder or in your game because of the way that we did it. We didn't delete anything, we just converted them over. So now they're all converted and they're ready for us to use in our game. So now we're going to close this out and this, and then we're gonna go into game. And here we are on the home page. And if you guys did download it or install it correctly, then you should have this yellow bar at the top. If you do not have this yellow bar, make sure that your drivers are up to date because is not going to work otherwise so make sure that they're up to date and then you should see this yellow bar at the top of the screen and now we're going to press shift and F2 and inside of here we're going to skip the tutorial because we don't need it if you have already had reshade then you should know how to use we pretty much will probably know how to use it so we're going to skip the tutorial and we're going to go settings first because I just need to set these things up before I forget. And the overlay key, I'm going to change it to F9 because that's what I use to open mine up. But if that's what, or change it to whatever you need to change it to, whatever you use to open up your shader. And then we're going to go down to shader toggle and I'm going to shade, I'm going to change that to F8. This is what it would be if you were to toggle on your G shade on or off. That's what you would press. So change that to whatever you need to. And then we're going to go down to screenshots. And in my screenshots, I like for them to be print screen. So I'm going to press that and screenshot path should already be what you need it to be if you set it up when we did the whole setup of when it was when we were setting it up or installing G Shade into the computer. So then we're going to go to home once that is all done. And in here we're going to click off and custom. And this is where all your reshades should be. Or your I'm sorry, this is where all your presets would be. And now I'm going to click on a preset and I'm going to pick the melanin reshade preset. Let's click on that and as you guys see it changed and we got a little juice <laughs> so so we're gonna press F8 take it off F9 to bring it back okay and to close mine I'm gonna press F9 and 
Now we're going to go in game so that we can see how it looks. And now we're in game and this is what it looks like without G shade. And this is what it looks like with G shade. Y'all, did y'all see it just come to life? Like it looks so amazing. And now let's take a print screen or a screenshot to see what that does. Oh, that was so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, that's kind of adorable. I love that. And you don't get the bar at the top of the screen. Instead, you get the actual camera sound. I love that y'all. And guys, that's the end of this video. I want you guys to let me know. Let me know if you guys have any extra questions about G-Shade. Let me know if you did download it correctly and you guys do have it in your game and how you like it, all of that. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Comment any suggestions you may have down below. If you have not already, please feel free to subscribe. I would love, love, love to have you here. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.